about feng shui? I've heard a little bit about it, but I'm definitely not the expert, but that's why we bring in the experts to right. help you out here a little bit this morning. We are talking feng shui, and we are actually talking to Sandy Sue Rector, a feng shui expert expert uh, and you talk about businesses and homes and how to really get them uh, I guess properly feng shui I don't yes. know <laughs> feng shui. Is that a, so feng shui some, uh, yes I'm just making things up it's, it's only 3,000 year, years old and, I know uh, okay. you know for those that maybe aren't as familiar with it talk about what it is okay right. great it's the art and science of balancing the five elements in your environment okay. so we have fire we have earth we have water, we have metal, and we have wood. And so when I'm going into a space, I'm looking for those elements and how to balance those. So this is our producer, producer Joe's <laughs> desk. It's yeah. a Volunteer. complete disaster. Yeah. Uh, looks like his children came through and just <laughs> did whatever they wanted. Uh, what do the people at home need to know for their desk at okay. work? And then we'll talk about home as well. Okay, thank you. So the most important thing is to remove the clutter. Okay. Uh. Because when we remove the clutter, we have more energy so that we're more productive. The other important thing is, in order to be productive, is to be able to see the entrance of what's coming oh. to you. And when we're in cubicles, what happens is we can't see behind us. Right. right. So one of the remedies that we do when you can't move your desk is to use a mirror. Okay. So we don't want to use a broken mirror because then we would feel like we're broke, so no <laughs> yeah. broken mirror. And we don't want a real small mirror because then it's very hard to see. Okay. So we want a good size mirror, about this size, so that we're able to see behind us is what we're looking for. That's not broken. Yes, that's not okay. broken. All right, All the right. mirror won't be too hard to find in a newsroom. What else do we need? <laughs> yes, well, the number one reason why we work is for money, right? Right. Absolutely. So we want to bring a money plant in, or a really healthy plant, and put it in the far left corner of our desk okay. so our money grows. So maybe behind your computer monitors? That would be wonderful oh. because then what it, it will do, it will absorb the energy that's coming from the computers and the phones and everything instead of you absorbing it and creating health issues. Okay, so we're running tight on time. There's one okay. thing that Joe is missing, though, that you said that he needs here. Um, one thing he was missing, I don't Wood. remember. Wood. Well, it was the plant. Oh, yes, the plant so we just brought in the plant. The plant yes. counts. Yes, the All plant right. counts. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Do these steps translate into your home as well? Exactly. exactly. Okay. Yes. So, the, so in the far left corner of your home is where your money energy lives. So having some nice plants in that area will help your money to grow. Hmm. All right. All right. And you're going to be available today. Yes. It's uh, open to the public. There's mm -hmm. a workshop happening. I believe we have the information. If we can put that on the screen for you right now. Yeah. Uh, Sandy Sue Rector is going to be there. And and uh, where it's at the um, 90th Street, just north of Via Linda, right? Correct. And the workshop runs from 10 o'clock until 11. Best of all, my favorite thing, it's all free. <laughs> free. Okay, and you're going to be there with some advice to uh, make everybody feel better about going to work, right? Exactly, and to be more okay. successful in love and money. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, Sandy. Thank you.